Welcome to the November 6th edition of the Sideline View from the Hockey House in downtown Brainerd. And uh, we have a lot of football to talk about this week. Uh, we have some volleyball, we have some swimming, and um, maybe a little uh, Jeremy's excellent adventure at St. Cloud State last uh, Friday covering Piers. Maybe you want to fill in. Uh, sure, we'll start with that. And uh, to all the Piers fans, I apologize. I didn't even read my story when I sent it because uh, I was sitting in the uh, St. Cloud State University parking lot having a Subway sandwich and uh, listening to my NFL network on my radio and all of a sudden my battery dies as I'm just sitting there so I'm in St. Cloud I, I don't have any friends here or in St. Cloud so so uh, luckily I I, uh, I called uh, Tom Elliott from the St. Cloud Times and he tried to give me a jump and uh, that didn't work so so while I'm watching the the uh, Piers Pioneers just destroy St. Cloud Cathedral, I'm thinking, how am I going to get home? <laughs> and so so luckily uh, I had somebody come and get me and drove me home. But uh, so I'm I'm writing my story on the way home, so I get it in on time. But uh, you know I I'm trying to send it on over uh, over our phone, and uh, it, it went through obviously thankfully and. Uh, I did, but I didn't. I didn't read it. Again. I just wrote it and sent it, and I was done with it. Because uh, a little frustrating situation, trying to think of think of how are you, how you're going to write your story, and at the same time, how you're going to get home. Nice, nice. But uh, like uh, like someone I, someone tweeted him. It's every sports writer's worst nightmare. How are you going to get home from covering a sporting event and, and get your story in on time? Yeah, definitely, that's a concern. Uh, you know, I, I got I got in a hit and run a couple years ago in Little Falls after a hockey game. It's a pretty. Uh, uh, Awful feeling to walk out and you see the cop car sitting out there by your vehicle and the lights are going on. I'm just going, what's going on here? Well, somebody ran into your car while you were at the game. So, But I was still able to get home and write my story. Fortunately, my vehicle was drivable that day. So well, let's talk about some good stuff here. You sure. saw Piers, um, you know, pretty much uh, take it to St. Cloud Cathedral. I yep. mean, dominated on the ground and uh, yep. on their way to the state quarterfinals. Piers threw one pass the whole game, completed it for zero yards, though. But otherwise, they just ran it right down Cathedral and, and they just played almost. A, a, a perfect game. They had a couple miscues on special teams, but uh, they overcame that. And defensive game plan against them was fantastic. Hats off to Dan Sayre and Dave Rochlow, the offense and defensive coaches for Piers. Uh, I asked, uh, I asked Leo, you know, just ab about that game, and he said it was, it was the, the coaching staff really came up with a great, great game plan, and, and then the kids just executed it really well. So hats off to them going back to the state tournament. I think it's I don't know, fourth time in the last. They've been six there a years. lot. Yeah. They've been there a lot. They're, they're kind of a, a mainstay. Brainerd had Chisago Lakes for the Section 7, Section 7 Class 5A Championship. That was last Friday. Um, one of the more dominating, I think, performances I've seen or I can remember in a, in a while. I mean, Brainerd's running game just really, really just gashed through Chisago Lakes. I mean, they gained 422 yards in the air, and Connor Gessel had 239 of it, and Logan Davis had like 134 of it, and uh, they combined to score five touchdowns. I mean, it was really a great performance by the offensive line, just really um, the, the holes were just unbelievable, and uh, Brainerd ends up winning the section, and now they're going to the state tournament Friday night at St. John's. I would think there'd be a nice big crowd there from Brainerd once uh, playoffs hit here and uh, get some port, and there's going to be a lot of people down there, I would think, and um, their opponent is Henry Sibley, and um, not real, you know, don't know a whole lot about them. I mean, they're seven and four. They won six of their last seven. So they're coming on. Um, um, looks to be a pretty good matchup, I think, for, for Brainerd. But, uh, you know, we'll see. Um, it's on turf. Um, should help both teams. I know they've got a couple good running backs. So be interested to see how that uh, all plays out. So Piers has Proctor at the University of Minnesota Duluth up there at 7 o'clock Friday. So. Uh, both teams are run heavy, so uh, I was talking to the Proctor coach. He said the game could be over in, in an hour and 20 minutes, depending on I, how many touchdowns there I think there. this one could be, too. The Brainerd-Sibley uh, game could be. They're both pretty much uh, running teams for the most part. So, well, you, you and I, we, we, in our, we, we sit next to each other at the dispatch, and we're always talking, hey, you got to throw, you got to throw, you got to throw. But you look at Piers and Brainerd, both mm -hmm. both very run heavy. It's like, well, I guess apparently you don't. I mean, if, you're, <laughs> if you run the ball as well as both these teams do, right. there's no sense in throwing the ball. Right. If you can run the ball and stop the run, I mean, usually you, you win in that situation. So um, some more football to talk about. Central Lakes plays for the state championship at uh, St. Cloud State. That's a 1 o'clock game on Sunday. That's against Rochester. Those two teams have been in – it's just been a war the last few years. I mean, they they played for the state title last year. Um, you know, Rochester did beat CLC during the regular season, handed them their only loss. So that will be interesting to see how that one comes out. We also
also have uh, Region 13B Volleyball here with Central Lakes. Plays um, Itasca the first round Friday. That's at CLC. Masabi and Northland playing the second game. It's 6 o'clock, 8 o'clock start Friday. And then uh, championships on uh, Saturday. Um, CLC was in the same spot last year in the in volleyball and uh, won the first one in five, and then they lost, uh, got swept in the last one. So um, this awesome. against Northland. So that's probably who they're going to run into again. So that um, that'll be a very um, very <laughs> very good tournament, very good volleyball for anybody who wants to see competitive volleyball. That's the place to be on Friday and Saturday. So we also have some swimming. After, yeah, after a week's vacation, they finally get back in the pool. <laughs> Um, November, <laughs> see, it's 8th and 9th, so it'll be Friday, Saturday. Yep, yep. Um, Brainerd um, is in the section. That's at Tech. Little Falls is in, um, I think it's 6-1-A. Yep. And that's in, I want to say, um, Alec, I think. Yep. And then uh, Staples Motley is in 8-1-A, and that's at Bemidji. Um, they're coming down to um, who's qualifying for state. I would think Brainerd's going to have um, quite a good Could contingent of swimmers there. I mean, they've had a great year. Unbeaten season there as well, just like football team did. And and um, they've been really rolling with some several very good individuals and in relays. And so should be a successful weekend. Yeah, the the two really good teams from Brainerd right, like for the fall season, swimming and football there. They're at the end of the season, and, and yeah, then this is the you know already on Monday several uh, winter sports start uh, boys basketball, boys hockey among others. I think gymnastics starts, dance is already underway, girls hockey is underway. So we've got the uh, the great overlap here. Um, I think we'll have a time to maybe eat Thanksgiving dinner and then uh, back to work. So exactly. that's about all we're going to have time for I think uh, in November. But it's always fun when it comes to playoffs. It's Everybody's playing at a pretty high level. If, so. if your car runs. <laughs> Hopefully everything goes well with the vehicles. That's right. Yes. So, Anything else? Otherwise, um, we hope to see you next week. And um, hopefully we'll be talking about some championship teams here at Central Lakes and uh, Brainerd Piers. And we'll go from there. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.